Hello, just wanted to do a quick demo of three parametric generators that I had created for the GOES system, or for GOES, because it's already got a system in the name. Uh, made three of them, so I have one for slot shelves, one for hole shelves, and one for hook shelves. So let me just show you how they work. What you need is, you need Fusion 360, and once you download the F3D file from Printables or Maker World, and you crack those open. This is how they, how you can edit them. Now this is set up for the four hanger version of the shelves. What you have to do is once you open the file, and this was the one for the holes, which really does ovals or ellipses. But uh, you go to modify, you go down to parameters. Oops, I have another window here, and certain parameters are set up for you. And I'll move this over so you can see it on the side. You you can specify how many holes you want across, how many holes you want deep, and the size of the holes. So if I wanted uh, eight holes across instead of six, I'll just put eight, and it should update. Let's change it to another number, like four. Let's see, there might be a glitch, I might have to fix that. But anyways, uh, you can specify the width. So I want 25. And I want them only 10 deep. So that's how that works for the whole one. Or you can do the one, or we have a similar setup for slots. So if I, same thing I can change, I want, let me move this over, three slots wide. And each slot is, you know, 40 millimeters, but only 5 millimeters deep. For whatever your application is. So that's slots. And the last one is bookshelves. Essentially the same thing. Uh, you specify the quantity of hooks, the width of the hook. So I like in this case I had 15 hooks. But if I say I want 10 hooks, but they're but I want the hooks to be 10 th 10 wide, uh, you can specify you could also specify how how high the tip of it is because it sticks up. So if I say I want the tip to be five millimeters up and five millimeters deep, there you go. And and uh, if you want to know how wide the gap is between them, down here it'll say it calculates it to be about seven and a half millimeters. If that's relevant to whatever you're hanging on this shelf. So there you have it. That should help with a bunch of custom shelves for goes and I hope you check it out until next time